Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Carrie. Um, here on my channel, I do, you know, budget friendly decorating. I love to go thrift store shopping and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go to a local thrift store, just look around, not really looking for anything particular. I just kind of feel like browsing a little bit. I don't go shopping solo often, but when I do have a chance, I love to go thrift store shopping. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, so I hope you enjoy. through the car wash too because it has been a while since I've washed my car. I vacuumed it out not too long ago. I shared that on a cleaning video but I never washed the outside and it is so dusty. I can barely see out of my windshield even like the little spray is not working. So we're gonna hit the car wash first and then we'll go. $30. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was a ton of fun. I love shop I love thrift store shopping. If I can find a super good deal, I'm all for it and you guys, if I was getting married right now or if I hadn't gotten married, I would have bought that dress, that wedding dress that's in there. It is gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Um, I love a very pretty, like, long sleeve, lacy, like, off the shoulder wedding dress. I could just see myself wearing that, even though my husband and I got married at the courthouse and I just didn't want a big wedding. I didn't want a wedding at all, I was too shy. And plus, we were really broke, so I couldn't afford it. Um, but that wedding dress was gorgeous. But anyway, I got some really cute stuff. I was actually kind of virtually shopping with Brittany. If you don't follow her, her channel name is At Home With Brit. But I, she texted me um, and we were talking about, I was thrift store shopping. She's like, show me what you got. So I was sending her pictures of the stuff that I had in my cart and she's like, oh, I love that. Oh, get that. And 
she's convincing me to buy stuff. <laughs> um, I love shopping with friends and I don't get to ever do it. So shopping with your friends online is even funner because you can just send pictures to each other like while you're out. So that was, that was fun. And this lady was like, why, uh, why are you taking photos? <laughs> okay, so now I am at Goodwill. I'm gonna run in here, see if they have anything um, that I might want and I'll show you guys around. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Check it out. They have really nice um, lamps in here that are brand new. They have lamp shades. I like that picture. More lamps. Always check at like thrift stores. You can always spray paint them. You can get really cheap lamps for a great deal. Some more artwork. Let's see. Oh, how fun are these? Those are so cute. So I am home. I got um, the lamp, the lamp shade. Got some stuff from Goodwill. I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on and give you like a try on haul because I feel like those are the most accurate representations of the clothes. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so first shirt I'm gonna try on. I haven't tried these on by the way because the dressing rooms were packed. I got me a wolf shirt. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this first um, t-shirt was $5 and I it just stood out to me. I was like swiping through the rack and I was like, ooh, this is a cool graphic tee. So I grabbed it and for $5, you can't beat it. Oh, I feel like the camera moved. Sorry. Okay, next thing I got 
was this white purse. It was $5. I thought it was really nice. I really liked it. I think it was $5. It was my receipt. What did I do with it? Woman's purse. $5.99. So it was $6, not $5. $6, but it looks brand new. It has like a gold strap. Um, my hair clip is falling out. And I was at the register and I happened to see this bracelet, which I think is super cool. It's very rare to find bracelets like these now. I, at least I haven't seen them. It looks old, but it's one of the bracelets that have, like it's stretchy, you know, and you just kind of like start it and then you just wrap it around. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really pretty. So grab that as well. And it's not missing any stones, which is pretty cool because usually when you find bracelets like this at like a thrift store, it's usually missing a stone or two. I usually still buy them and it was only a dollar. So these two together were seven bucks and let me try it on to see how it looks. Oh yeah, I like it a lot. And I love when purses are just kind of like open like this and there's not like a ton of pockets. There's one pocket on the side. I like purses like this. I don't like all the little things because I lose everything. <laughs> So next up, I have this green little t-shirt. It's size medium. I believe it's, that says moccasin maybe? I have no idea what this says, it's hard to read, but it's a green, really long shirt. But I loved it because it had this slit in the side. So it kind of is like really flattering. Even though it's long, it like cuts on the side. I'll show you, let me put it on. So here is the shirt. I love this color and I really love the slit right here on the side. I have mine tucked up just because these shorts are a little on the shorter side. So whenever it's hanging down, it looks like I don't have shorts on. But I love shirts like this that are super long, covers up your booty. I, I just like that. So um, and then I just put on this little white purse that I just got. thought I was adorable. This whole outfit. See, you don't have to spend a ton of money to look cute. <laughs> Good thrift store shopping. You get way more for your money. Okay, so this next top is from Old Navy. It's a size extra large, but it doesn't look extra large. It kind of looks small. Um, but what made it stand out to me, first of all, the color is cute, but also it had like these like ruffle sleeves and I have thicker arms. So sometimes wearing ruffle sleeves like this kind of helps make them appear smaller. We'll see. I haven't tried it on yet. So you're about to get first look with me. And this one was on sale and I think it was only like $4.50. Yeah, $4.50. So this is the shirt. I actually really like it. I do think it would look really pretty with a pair of white shorts instead of, I mean, it looks cute with this too, but I think white would really dress it up and I could totally see myself wearing this out to dinner. Um, yeah, I like it. And I don't think the sleeves make my arms look thinner. If anything, it kind of makes them look a little poofier, but that's okay. I'm still gonna rock it. Okay, so this next top that I have on is totally different from anything I've, I would ever wear or buy, but I had to get it. Something about it I was just drawn to, and this lady kept complimenting it while I was walking in the store. She's like, that is so cute. That would be so cute on you. And I, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. It was $7.99. I looked up the tag because it has original tag on it, not the price, but it has like a bandofgypsies.com. So I looked it up. These rompers retail for around a hundred bucks, like 78 to a hundred dollars. Crazy for a romper, but I like it. I can, like I said, it's not something I would usually wear. I feel like I'm like a walking couch. I don't know, but I like it. There's something about it that I'm just drawn to. It's fun. Let me show you. So here is the romper. I think it is so fun. I would have to wear it with heels, obviously. I'm so short. But I think if it was hemmed to here in more of like that balloon style pant, this would be like a walking couch. Like literally, I would rock this. I would wear this out. <laughs> or even shorts. Like if I could cut it to shorts, that would be super cute. Because the, the balloon legs are a little too much for me. But I think if it was... Hold on, let's try it and see. Ugh. Let's see here. Oh, you guys, I'm cutting these bad boys. <gasps> what? I'm cutting them. Okay, so this next dress is very, very feminine. It's not something I would typically wear. I don't wear dresses often, but I really, 
really love it. I think it's very pretty. I could definitely see myself putting like a jean jacket over this to dress it down a little bit, um, like during the fall time. So I'm glad I grabbed it. It was only seven bucks. It looks brand new. I love how it has like the ruffles right here at the bottom. And yeah, I like it. Very, very pretty. Okay, so this is more of my vibe. <laughs> um, I do like to dress up here and there, so I don't mind buying a few dresses when I see them and I really like them. But this is more of like casual carry. This is something I would actually wear. Really like it. Very flowy top. It was only five bucks. So I grabbed it and it looks brand new. Love it. Okay, last, last shirt I have is this one. Just a little casual tee. It has like a little cutout right here with like little lines going across. I'm not going to show this one on because it is a little bit more on the low cut side. Just don't feel comfortable sharing that on video. And then I also got me a pair of sweatpants because who doesn't like a pair of comfy sweatpants? And these were $3.98. They're size large, but they're like, I like a little bit more my my like stretchy, like comfortable pants to be oversized. There's nothing worse than trying to be comfortable and everything being like, like skin tight. I don't like that. So got that. Um, and then I have the lamp, the lampshade, and then I'll show you what else I got. Okay, so here is the lamp, or I almost said the lampshade that I got. Here's the lamp that I got. It's very heavy. Um, I think it's pretty like old and antique. I mean, when have you seen a lamp with one of the strings like that before? But I'm gonna paint it. It's not really my style. I'm gonna spray paint it black, um, and I'm gonna share that with you guys today in this video. But also, it came with a lampshade. It doesn't really look the best, but it was free, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I figured, why not? Until I can get a new one, that one will work just fine. And then, look at this. <laughs> I had to show you. So my daughter likes to create things. I think it's so cool that she does this kind of stuff. It's very creative and unique. But she made a... Sorry about that. My phone ran out of storage space. I had to clear some space. But she made a piggy bank. How cool is that? <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I was like, what is this? But it's a piggy bank. <laughs> Are you laying there? Are you trying to steal a snack? Or are you actually cuddling? Oh, you're feeding her snacks? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this lamp outside and spray paint it. And we got sod, so let me show you how it all looks. It's really like fluffy and kind of brown, but the guy said it would come back to life. Gosh, why isn't the door opening? Okay, so here's the grass. Looks good super fluffy <laughs> i just want to go lay in it because i'm so excited what do y'all think of the grass <laughs> do you like it our bushes are dying we're gonna trim those back and hopefully they will come back look at her <laughs> little does that feel good do you like the grass is that nice Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do there ain't nobody like there ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours Okay, so I got the lamp spray painted black, just with some matte spray paint. It was just the rust brand. This is the lamp shade that it originally came with. It's just tan, it's fine. I'm just gonna use it since I don't have one. But, since I don't have a plug-in at the end of my hallway, I'm gonna use this little push light and some batteries and make it into a working light. So I really don't like the way that that lampshade looks. Oh my goodness gracious, it's bright. Surface of the sun. 
um, I don't like the way that lampshade looks. So I'm going to see if this one will look a little better. Alright, so I got the little light stuck up here on the lampshade. I tried to put it down here, but it kept falling off, but it works perfectly here. The only issue is that the lampshade kind of like tilted a little bit because the weight, so I kind of just bend it back down and it worked out. There's a piece of dog hair. Oh my goodness, really? Okay, so with the light on, it just gives it a little bit of light back here. I like it. I think it, is that a hanger? There's a hanger under there. Just ignore it. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this shop with me and this little DIY. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I was lost in a city dream was at home again beside the stream